Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kiana, and today I really wanted to do a helpful video since the holidays are coming up. I know a lot of these videos are starting to arise on the internet right now. Life has been feeling a bit mundane, and I think we all kind of need that escape from reality. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of dive into some holiday videos. But I thought I had a very good list, and I thought it'd be good to share it with you guys, and I wanted this to be as helpful as possible, so I created a Google Doc. I have everything listed into categories here, stocking stuffers, beauty, lifestyle, fitness, clothing, tech electronics, and links to everything will be also on this doc. Let's hop into it. So first category is stocking stuffers, and this is kind of anything that I'm assuming to be under $20. First stocking stuffer is a lightning fast charging cable for your iPhone. If you're used to just using the normal iPhone chargers, you will be amazed once you get one of these. They are pretty inexpensive and you can find them on Amazon. I'm trying not to support Amazon as much now, but nobody can really beat that two day shipping. I feel like you'd be able to find these at Best Buy or even Target. Number two is reusable straws. I think these are a great gift because they're very practical, very useful, and I think we're all trying trying to, you know, be more environmentally cautious. And you could totally pick like a fun color. You could get like gold, you could get rose gold. Number three is Glossier lip balms. And these are amazing. I have one in mint and I just highly recommend them. Number four is an electric frother. I think a lot of us are starting to get into making our own lattes. And Number five is beanies, and I love beanies. I think they're such a cute little winter accessory. A few places that I want to get beanies from are Boys Lie, Lonely Ghost, which is Indie Blue brand. Carhartt has cool beanies, and those are like in more neutral colors. Number six would be any type of jewelry, and this is very vague, but I wanted to recommend a few places. I'd say Nordstrom Rack is one of my favorite places to get jewelry because it's very good quality, and you know it's not gonna like irritate your ears or whatever. But something that's not under $20 that I still wanted to mention to you guys because I am a huge fan of this brand. It's what I'm wearing right now, but I'm wearing a layered necklace and these cute little constellation earrings. It's from the brand Ana Luisa. They are sustainable. Number seven is a custom nameplate necklace. Etsy has a lot of options for this and I highly recommend supporting any small business. But yeah, I like the stocking stuffer because it is more personalized. Number eight is a pair of blue light glasses and these can be a little over $20. It just depends on where you get them from. I said I wasn't gonna support Amazon that much, but I'm literally a hypocrite because because the ones that I did get are from Amazon. I got these about a year ago. I think that's a good option though if you are looking for an inexpensive pair of blue light glasses. Another recommendation though would be to check out iBuyDirect.com. Number nine, since we're in a pandemic, you know, we're gonna be wearing masks for a long time. I think these would be a good gift idea. Definitely check out Etsy for some really cute masks. Number 10 is hand sanitizer. Trader Joe's has some nice hand sanitizers. They even have the cute spray bottle ones. Number 11, crystals. These are kind of, you know, iffy. It depends on if you're into that stuff. <laughs> Number 12 is socks. Doesn't sound exciting, but some of my favorite socks that I want to recommend are just the Nike Crew socks. I've been actually looking for the Crew socks that are a little shorter than the ones that are like mid shin. Personally, I love getting socks because mine keep disappearing. I have no idea where half of them are, but some of my favorite socks for everyday wear are from the brand Zella. You can find these at Nordstrom. Number 13 are Apple Watch bands. If you have one, I think it's fun to, you know, change out the colors. Number 15 is a jade roller, and I think this is a great thing for people who kind of like that self-care stuff. You know, it's just fun to, like, massage your face. I personally use my knuckles to massage my face. Now moving on to the beauty category. Number 16 is Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask, and this, I've heard so many great things. It's Definitely I'm more on the expensive side of skincare, but Summer Fridays has been a brand that I've been really aching to try. Number 17 is a facial steamer, and I feel like you can find these anywhere. I think these are a great thing because it's for like those spa nights when you want to treat yourself and like open up your pores. I think a facial steamer is just very helpful and really relaxing. Number 18 is a nail polish set from the brand Olive in June. I've heard a lot of great things about Olive in June, and I'll have that linked in the Google Doc as well. It looks like the opacity of their nail polishes is really good. Number Number 19 is a Laneige lip mask and I can literally say this is one of my favorite lip balms and I have it in like the pink container. I have a mini size but I probably will go buy a full size because I'm obsessed with it. Number 20 is Bobbi Brown Jones Road Lip Balm 
slash lip tints. Number 21 is IGK dry shampoo. Number 22 is a pair of thinning shears and I recently just purchased one for myself because my mom gave me a haircut but my hair automatically is just very thick and it can look pretty blunt, you know? So I decided to just pick up a pair of thinning shears and thin the ends of my hair. And now I can say I do not look like Edna from Incredibles. Just because of the pandemic, I think it's really nice to be able to do your own hair. Number 23 is the T3 Featherweight Compact Hair Dryer. And this is just a hair dryer that my mom has as well, but I'll use it a lot too. And I think this is such a good hair dryer. Number 24 is the face mask set from Trader Joe's. And I've tried this and I love the clay mask that they have in it. Don't sleep on the Trader Joe's masks. Number 25 is something that I've been wanting to try out and this is the Bali Body Shimmering Body Oil. They also sell tanner and stuff but I think this is a pretty versatile one. Something that I've been wanting to get for myself and this is the Bondi Boost Hair Crimper. I'm sure you've probably seen a bunch of promotions about it because a lot of YouTubers have been promoting it but I've honestly just been wanting a hair crimper because I think crimps are really cute and my hair is like flat all day every day so I thought you know maybe that would be a good hairstyle for me to try. Number 27 is the Fenty Holiday Lip Gloss Set and I just need to say that I was literally about to buy this. I was about to buy this. I was very tempted because I, the colors are so pretty and I do have one of the Fenty lip glosses and I do love the formula. Number 28 is Nest Perfume Sets and you can kind of get any perfume set but I really recommend the Nest Perfumes. I actually found the Nest Perfume Set at Nordstrom Rack and the deal is astronomical. Number 29 is the First Aid Beauty Body Lotion. I actually own this and I really like it. I think it's a nice heavy duty cream. Number 30 is the Whey Shampoo and Conditioner. Number 31 is a bath set and I thought this would be a kind of like a little cute basket that you can create yourself. You could put bath bombs in there from Lush maybe, a nice towel, like a luxurious towel, something that you would normally not buy yourself. Number 32, which is the last thing in the beauty category, and this is a mini skincare fridge. All right, so now we're done with the beauty category, and we're gonna move on to the clothing category. Number 33 is an oversized flannel jacket, and I saw that Zara has a lot of these. I feel like when you're purchasing clothes for somebody, it's a little risky, but I think with a flannel jacket, it's not as difficult to, you know, gauge. Number 34 is a pair of Skims pajamas, and I've heard a lot of great things about these. They're so soft. Number 35 is a puffer jacket from Princess Polly. I actually just purchased one myself. It was like a hundred bucks, but I think it's so worth it. Number 36 is a graphic tee from Urban Outfitters or from Princess Polly. You have a lot of different options when it comes to graphic tees, but those are like my two favorite places for graphic tees. Number 37 is a pair of Nike Air Force Ones or even the Air Jordans. I've been wanting to get Air Jordans. They are kind of hard to find though. I've been noticing that Nike doesn't really stock many different colors. I'll probably insert a picture because I kind of want your opinion on them. I never thought it was my style, but I really like the sporty look and I think they're just really cool. Let me know what you guys think. Number 38 is a crew neck and crew necks are my favorite thing right now. I love sweatshirts as well, but crew necks are my favorite because with hoodies, you know, my hair is just getting matted in the hood. So I do prefer a crew neck. Some places that have amazing crew necks, Boys Lie, Mayfair Group, and White Fox Boutique. <laughs> Number 39 is a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses and I actually purchased one pair for myself I think five months ago. I'm gonna go grab them so I can show you. All right, okay. So these are the pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses that I bought about five months ago. I think these are so cute. I look like John Lennon, but you know, I just really like the color of them. I love the gold trim. I think they're just a classic pair of sunglasses. These are amazing. They make you look really fashionable in your photos and stuff. By the way, these are the hexagonal ones. Number 40 is a pair of Ugg slippers. You know, you know I'm wearing them right now. <laughs> they have like popcorn crumb on there right now. They keep me cozy. My feet are freezing, I have bad circulation. Pretty much all of my friends have Ugg slippers. We all are obsessed with them. They've always been a staple in college, especially when you don't want to be walking with your bare feet in a nasty college house because that is that is just frightening. A little tip with Ugg slippers, I feel like you can always find them on Nordstrom Rack if you don't want to be paying full price for them. Number 41 is a pair of Platform Doc Martens. Could we be any more basic? No. Number 42 is a pair of Platform Converse and I really like the all white ones but the black ones are cool too, nice classic shoe. Number 43 is a pair of Lululemon Align leggings. I just wanted to say I recommend the Align style over the others because it is the most like buttery soft material. Number 44 is a handbag from Peta and Jane. If you haven't heard of them before, they are a brand that Princess Polly actually carries on their site. I recently got this purse and I'm obsessed with it. It's like the perfect Prada purse dupe. Very cool, it has this silver chain. 
but also comes with a crossbody. If you guys have seen the Prada purse that I'm talking about, you guys can tell it is very similar. Now we're moving on to the tech slash electronics category. Number 45 is a Kindle and Lauren Elizabeth was talking about this in her podcast and just saying how many books she's been reading because of it and it's just so easy on the go. Number 46 is perfect for anybody who has a lot of files to store. You know, if they're a videographer, if they're a YouTuber, if they're into photography, this is a one terabyte or five terabyte hard drive. Number 47 is a projector with stars, kind of like a little luxury item if you want to have like a cool setting at nighttime when you're in a room. Number 48 is a Bluetooth speaker. The one that I have is the Sony SRS X55 and this is a great speaker. Number 49 is a ring light and I think if somebody's into YouTube or if they're like into taking pictures and stuff like that. Number 50 is a film camera and film photography has been really coming back right now. Film photography is definitely like a hobby and something you have to learn and get good at but if somebody's interested in that I think a film camera is such a fun present. I personally want one but I know it's a bit expensive to keep up with and while we're in quarantine it's like what's the point I have nothing to document right now. I'm definitely considering getting a film camera in the future. After doing a little bit of research some that I'm into interested in are the Leica M4 and also the Pentax K1000 and then for film Portra 400. Number 51 is AirPods. I don't have much to say just that they're great. Moving on. Number 52 is an iPad with Procreate. This is great for anybody who wants to get into graphic design or just you know wants an iPad. Number 53 is kind of like a little adulting thing and this is a tire pressure gauge. Checking your tire pressure is very important and if you're not like going to get your tires checked every once in a while, it'd be really helpful to get one of these. Number 54 is an electric longboard. These are kind of expensive, but the pricing definitely ranges. My family has one, it's from the brand Walgo, and these are I think maybe $600, I can't remember, but they're really fun and I mean if you want to splurge on a gift, and they like that stuff, I would really recommend it. All right, moving on to the workout slash fitness category. Number 55 is pre-workout, and one that I've been wanting to try is from the brand Alani New. Number 56 is protein, and just some that I recommend, like even just the gold standard whey, or even stuff from the brand My Protein is really good. Number 57 is an ab wheel. It's that wheel with the two handlebars, and you like, you basically roll away and roll back to yourself and it's a very intense ab workout. Number 58 is a slingshot hip circle and my family got one of these and it's life-changing. That stuff like burns your butt. Number 59 is a foam roller or massage stick or a Theragun. So a few different options there with the massage stuff. A Theragun is the most expensive thing. It's like an actual electronic device that like smacks you. <laughs> it's really weird. Very intense, but a lot of like athletes like to use that. It's very effective. And then we have things like the little stick, which is kind of similar to a cookie dough roller, and that really tickles. And then the normal foam roller. Number 60 would be a cute workout set, and some ones that I like are from Gymshark Girlfriend Collective, which is a sustainable brand. Also, the brand Stronger. They're based in Sweden, but I actually worked with them on an Instagram post recently, and I am obsessed with the workout set that I got. Number 61 is an aloe yoga sports bra. Number 62 is ankle weights, and these are great for doing any type of butt exercises. Number 63, which is the last thing in the fitness category, which is a pair of Lane 8 fitness shoes. I hear these are really good and I do want to get a pair for myself. I think they're really cute. Probably just an all white one. Now we are on to the home slash other category. Number 64 is a custom neon sign and these are so cute. I actually want to get like a big neon sign for when I move into my own apartment. Definitely check out Etsy for custom signs because they are not actually that expensive. My friend who moved to New York, she got two of them and they're so cute. Number 65 is indoor plants, and I think this is such a good gift. You guys know that I'm working at a plant nursery right now. I've become very into plants, I just know a lot about it now. Some of the easiest ones to take care of that I would recommend you guys to gift other people would be a ZZ plant, a monstera, or a snake plant. Number 66 coincides with the plants, but this is a planter. I actually just came across the most pretty planters I've ever seen. I'll have that linked in that Google Doc, but I'll also put a picture right here, but it's literally just the stone planter with this crystal stuff on the front. Number 66 seven are soy wax candles and I know a lot of us have been obsessed with like Bath and Body Works candles but I started to drift away from that because I know that they're full of like chemicals but now some of the ones that I recommend are from Nest they have great soy candles also brands like Voluspa if that's even how you say it 
and brand homesick. Number 68 is a planner with some pens. I think this would be a good gift because I love staying organized. 69 is a hydro flask and I just think a hydro flask in a really pretty color would be a really nice gift. I can never have enough water bottles. Number 70 is a phone case and some of the places I recommend are Case Defy, Wildflower, and Sonics. Number 71 is an oil diffuser, and these are kind of nice. They're kind of just a change from a candle or whatever. Number 72 is a Barefoot Dreams blanket. I hear that these are the softest blankets ever. Number 73 is a guitar, and I've been wanting to buy myself another guitar. Even like an electric guitar would be super cool because it's more of like an R&B sound, and I'm really into that. Number 74 is a Nutribullet or just any type of small blender. I think these are so helpful, especially when you move out of college or you just move to your own place. Number 75 is cute coffee cups or even just mugs. I've been seeing a lot of coffee being made in little glass cups and they're so cute. Number 76 is an espresso maker. These can be very pricey, but so many people are obsessed with espresso and personally, I would love to have one. I love the taste of like the bitter strong coffee flavor. Number 77 is steeped coffee and steeped coffee bags are really helpful. I actually really like them. They're like the little coffee bags that you just put in your coffee like you're making tea. Super easy way to make coffee. Number 78 is a Tivana tea sampler or kind of just gathering your own favorite teas and putting them in a little basket would be cute. Number 79, which is really helpful if you're moving out, this is an electric kettle. These heat up water so fast, you're making coffee, you're making tea in an instant. Number 80 would be frozen cookie dough, and we actually just tried this cookie dough from the brand Drops of Dough. Number 81 is Sugarfina candy sets, and if you have ever been into the Sugarfina store, it is so aesthetic. Idea number 82 would be putting together a little wine basket if the person you're gifting is of age. Maybe two bottles of wine or even rosé and some chocolate and some wine glasses would make a really cute basket. Number 83 is another basket idea, but this is like a movie night thing. Theme. You have a few different ways you can do this. You can either buy like the microwave popcorn, which we all know is horrible for you, but you know, on occasion, we're gonna accept it. Or you could even just get like the poppable kernels and then also get them one of those popcorn machines, which I mean, just depends what you want to do. Put two of your favorite movies, some smart sweets or like some candy that's probably not too unhealthy. Number 84 also has to do with food and this would just be a cheese platter. I think a lot of us have been loving cheese plates recently. Number 85 is very specific, but this is a Mendocino Farms gift card, and I've had this recently, so excited about it. Like, I'm gonna keep getting it next time I'm in the area. They have a lot of different locations, so if you have one near you, I would recommend getting this. Um, number 86 are Yeti tumblers, and these basically just keep your drink cold. Number 87 would be Car Scent Portables. You can probably find these at a lot of different places, but, I mean, the ones that I had a long time ago were from, from Bath & Body Works. Number 88 is a self-defense kit, and there's actually this girl, her name's Alyssa DeSilos, and she creates her own art and I've seen on Twitter like her self-defense kits they're really cute and I think that's just such a practical thing for anybody in our demographic. Number 89 would be a Skillshare subscription and you guys know Skillshare is very popular right now. I've been using Skillshare and it's such a nice way to you know learn more while I'm already out of college so I think gifting somebody a membership to that would be really helpful because it's actually something that they can use a lot and extract a lot from. Number 90 would be a DoorDash gift card and I had never been one to order like Uber Eats or DoorDash for often but now that I'm working and sometimes it's like the place is a little too far and I don't want to drive that far to waste my lunch hour on. DoorDash is sometimes just very helpful. Number 91 is a HelloFresh subscription. You guys probably know what HelloFresh is. They're a great meal delivery service and I've tried them a couple times and I really liked it. Number 92 is luggage from the brand Away. I've heard a lot of good things about this brand. I think if somebody is a big traveler, maybe after the pandemic, this would be a good gift. Number 93 is a Lululemon tote bag or weekender bag. I think these are nice, you know, just for little weekend trips and stuff like that. Number 94 is a paint by numbers kit. I think this is a fun therapeutic activity and I think a lot of people would enjoy it. Number 95, if the person is into baking, then I think giving them any type of appliance would be really nice, like a mixer. KitchenAid has a lot of cute colors. We are approaching the end here, but number 96 is a silk pillowcase. And I think just this one silk pillowcase, like that's something that a lot of people probably wouldn't buy themselves. I hear it's very good for your hair health and just waking up with like less frizz, I think. <laughs> 
that would be really helpful. Number 97 is a waffle maker, and this is a very random gift, but I feel like a lot of people would appreciate it. Number 98 is a makeup case. Number 99 is a weighted blanket, and I've heard a lot of great things about them. They help you sleep better. Number 100 would be a custom keychain, and you can get these off of Etsy. I have one more gift idea for you guys, and this would just be buying some artwork or like posters for somebody. Society6 has a lot of good artwork, and it's cool because you're supporting like independent artists. You could get a few different posters and just give them some like artwork and decor for their room. But that's about it on the gift ideas for Christmas. And I know that was kind of long, but I hope it was helpful for you guys. I feel like as you get older, you don't really ask for things anymore, but I ultimately just thought this would be helpful to put out there for you guys. And I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope y'all are surviving out there. I feel like with the pandemic, it's just feeling like there's no end to this. I think that's a big reason why I'm so excited for the holidays. Kind of a little distraction, you know? I'm just gonna start decorating for Christmas and putting on some Christmas music, drinking some tea by the fire, just create a feel good environment, you know? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. And if you did, and if you wanna see other videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Definitely check me out on Instagram. I'll have all my socials linked down below. But for now, this is it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.